It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Grace Beyer, a senior at University of Health Sciences and Pharmacy in St. Louis. Grace officially putting up 34.3 points per game at this point in the season. I know you're no stranger to putting up a lot of points per game over the course of a year, but it's your senior season. So six games in, talk about where you are right now. Um, I think uh, my team and I are at a pretty good spot right now. Um, we've had a difficult schedule preseason, but we've kind of showed that we can compete with um, some top teams in the country, and we're just hoping to uh, make a run for it this year. That 33.3 points per game is leading the NAI in points per contest, and, and that's a big deal, and I do want to, to go through that a little bit, but part of the reason that you're able to put up that many points a game is the fact that you just never leave. I mean, you're out on the court all the time, and that includes an overtime game, and, and one of them is an exhibition overtime game in which you're out there for 45 minutes, but all but 14 seconds against Benedictine when you fouled out there in the in the final minute. You have spent your time on the court. Talk about what that means, and, and I mean, really, at, at the end of a night, are you run down, or you still have more gas? <laughs> um, it helps that... Um... You know, preseason, we do a lot of running, so I'm in pretty good shape. Obviously, playing 40 minutes a game isn't isn't easy, but uh, it's just awesome to be out there all the time, to be able to lead your team. Um, you know, they always – they look for a leader. I'm a senior. Um, I've, I've been through it before, so just being out there with my team for the entirety of the game is just something special. I think folks who follow NAI women's basketball hopefully have become familiar with your name. And if they haven't, they haven't really been watching closely enough because you, you led the country in scoring. You're leading right now. You led the country in scoring your junior year. You led the country in scoring your sophomore year. You led the country in scoring your freshman year as well. I mean, that's an incredible feat. Can, has something like that, do you, do you wrap your, your, your mind around that? Is, how big a deal is that to you? Um, it's something I never would have imagined coming out of high school. Um, obviously, I've put a lot of um, hours into the gym throughout my entire life, um, but I wouldn't be where I am without my coach, my teammates, my family always supporting me and just encouraging me. We're visiting now with Grace Beyer here on Midwest Sportsnet on the Summit, and I encourage you, please continue to enjoy the videos here. We'd love for you to stay and be a part of the channel. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Grace, you're playing for the university, health sciences, and pharmacy. I know that pharmacy is something that you want to have in your future. It's part of the reason why you, you've gone to school there. Uh, you're, you're a eutectic. Love the mascot. Absolutely <laughs> love the, the mascot. So tell us, what exactly is a eutectic? So basically, it's when you have two powders. Um, so they're two solids that come together. And at the lowest melting point is the eutectic point, And that's when they become a liquid. All right. So pretty nerdy. No, I love it. I absolutely <laughs> love it. And I mean, it's, it's, it is unique uh, without question. I think that's pretty cool to get to, to say that. D does anyone else ask you that? I mean, is that something that you see people come up and go, what? Is All the that? time. Whenever we travel somewhere for a tournament, there's always people asking. Well, I, listen, as, as you, you continue to light up the scoreboard, game in, game out, and I've had a chance to, to, to watch highlights and see some of the clips and see actually some of, of the, the play as well. I think one of the things that, that's really neat about your game, your scoring game, you can score inside, you can drive, you can shoot from the outside as well. You've got a great three-point percentage. But what stands out to me is, as a former coach is that mid-range jumper, you know, that, that 14 to 17-foot shot and you just are lights out from there. Talk about that because that that's something that not everyone really likes to do anymore. Yeah, it's definitely a lost art in the game of basketball. Um, even in the NBA, you know, the really good guys are shooting the mid-range jumper. And uh, when Coach Reese took over um, for UHSP, uh, he kind of straight up told me that, you know, I'm, I'm short. So being able to knock down <laughs> the three and the mid-range just kind of opens up the entire floor. So it was something I put a lot of hours in because it wasn't something I was very good at in high school. So I had to kind of evolve my game and uh, just do anything I can to help the team. You know, that that's something that's impressive too. And I, and I appreciate that you, you brought that up. Your game uh, has to change. It has to evolve. And, and I'm sure that, you know, leading the country in scoring as a freshman, people, you know, that, that, are, are scouting you all recognize and know where you are on the court. Are there other changes you've had to make over the course of the last three years? 100%. I mean, our team's always changing too. You know, we have seniors leaving, we have new freshmen coming in, even some transfers. Um, so 
knowing what everyone else's strengths are allows me to kind of feed into those strengths as well. So I can, you know, if someone's hitting um, in a game, someone's shooting really well from the three, I'm going to keep passing to them. The more shots they hit, the more open I'll be. So it's just kind of, you know, you get you give and take, you know, each game gives you something new. I really appreciate that about you too, Grace, is that, that you, you talk about team quite a bit. And I'm, I'm, I'm asking you a lot of individual questions, obviously, it's just you and me talking right now. But I really appreciate the team factor and the coach factor. And I think that also says a lot about as you as a person, too. And, you know, you're, you're a person who's not just someone who excels on the court, but you also excel in the classroom, too. A three-time All-American, honorable mention your freshman year, first team each of the last two years as well. But you're an academic All-American, too. And I think that's really pretty neat. I'd love you to talk about that. Back-to-back -back years, not just an, an academic All-American, but the academic All-America of the year for the NAIA. So I think that's a pretty cool honor too. Yeah, that's probably my most proud accomplishment. Um, my parents have always stressed the importance of academics. That's kind of why I'm at an NAI school. You know, I've, I had other options, but I really wanted to focus academically and I knew pharmacy was something I wanted. So like right now I'm in my third year of pharmacy school. So, and it's a doctorate program. So it's, it's obviously not an easy task, but <laughs> the school just allows me to, you know, get the best of both both worlds, and it's it's awesome. Well, let's let's talk about your season as we we wrap things up here. You you have midway at home on Saturday. I I know that even tonight, uh, another division to a pro program that uh, you'll be uh, making the trip just up the road to to take care, or just down the road, excuse me, uh, <laughs> to take on the S and T in Rolla. and then get to travel out to Arizona for a couple more non conference games right before Christmas in, in uh, Vanguard, Rocky Mountain out in, in Arizona. But then the American Midwest schedule gets underway. It's that double round robin again. So as a senior looking at this, uh, tell us a little bit about what you see for uh, for the next few weeks heading into the break even and, and what it's going to be like one more time through the American Midwest. Um, obviously, we're very excited. We have uh, – Arizona is going to be a blast. Uh, we have two very tough com components uh, in the top, you know, top 25. So we're really hoping to kind of show out, kind of put more of a name on UHSP in the NAI because, you know, we've we haven't always been that great at basketball. So it's been um, a stepping stone. And we're just really hoping to get somewhere this year and do something that nobody else has done at our school. Um in the conference, uh, we have we have Columbia, we have Stevens that's receiving votes, so we have um, some good opponents in the AMC as well. But uh, once again, we're just really hoping to get to that postseason tournament. So we'll just we're going to take one game at a time. Well, I appreciate not only what you bring to the table then on the court and and scoring, but uh, the way that that you see this as a team and as a program. And I know that when your time is done, you you definitely have done your part to help you HSP to be able to grow and reach those marks that you're looking for. So success to you throughout the remainder of the, the non-conference portion of the schedule. We're going to follow you here on Midwest Sports <laughs> Net for the remainder of this year and, and the eutectics and, and look forward to seeing you all do well. Thank you very much. Grace Beyer for being with us here today on the Summit. Yep, thank you.